Apple Silicon Macs are powerful, but let's face it, they miss out on a lot of applications and games. But what if you could run apps from outside of the Mac ecosystem using Windows, Linux, and even hacking focused distros like Kali Linux, all on your Mac, no dual boot, no fuss. And that's where Parallels Desktop comes in. By far the easiest and most powerful way to run operating systems like Windows 11 ARM on a Mac. With its built-in emulation there, it also lets you run classic x86 desktop apps that macOS will soon stop supporting. And the brand new 20.3.1 update makes everything faster, more secure and more compatible with ever, with support for pro-level virtualization, AI dev tools, and even more Windows games. And you can try it absolutely for free for 14 days. And for a limited time, there is an absolutely huge 35% off discount. So make sure to click the link at the top of this video's description. Every purchase helps to support this channel and the content that I create. And really, it's the best time to try Parallels if you haven't already. So what's new with Parallels 20.3.1? Firstly, we have Organization Bound Encrypted Virtual Machine for Enterprise. This is a game changer for IT admins. Virtual machines can now be locked to your organization now. That means that they can only run on Macs with a valid business license, offering zero trust enforcement by default. Even if somebody copies the virtual machine, they can't open it. It, its security made seamless. Next, we have USB device support for macOS virtual machines. So for the very first time on Apple Silicon, macOS virtual machines can now recognize USB devices like authentication keys or external drives. It's ideal for security testing, device debugging, or hands-on macOS experimentation. And we now have OBS virtual camera support. So that means that streamers can now use their macOS OBS virtual camera directly in Windows apps like Zoom or Teams inside the Windows virtual machine. It's perfect for creators wanting to preserve their studio workflow. And we also have AI-ready virtual machines. So developers can now spin up Linux-based AI environments with tools and supple code. No setup nightmares, no cloud billing, no internet needed. Just launch, tinker, and build. And for developers, this is amazing because cross-platform testing is even easier than ever. Whether you're building for macOS, Linux, or Windows, you can run all three operating system environments side by side on a single Mac. That means that you can test your Electron app in Windows, run your backend in Linux, and debugging on macOS all at once. No triple booting, no cloud virtual machine mess, and full support for Visual Studio, SQL Server, Docker, and even AI workflows in VS Code. And Parallels is for gamers too. And Parallels is situated better than ever to run Windows games on a Mac. Firstly, Apple have announced that Rosetta 2 will be removed in the future from macOS. And so Windows 11 ARM x86 emulation through Parallels could be the only way to run many x86 Windows games and apps on the Mac in the future. And this emulation actually works surprisingly well on Parallels on Apple Silicon Macs. For example, older 32-bit titles like Fallout New Vegas run far better on Parallels than they do on something like Crossover. And plenty of other Windows games can be played through Parallels too, like Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, which can also be played online and you can even pair up a Bluetooth controller on your Mac and it'll work straight away on the Windows Virtual Machine and you can even play Windows only games like Overcooked either single player or pair up multiple controllers and have some friends join you too. Now Windows game support in Parallels is currently limited to DirectX 11 games but Parallels does have a trick up its sleeve. With BattleEye support added in Windows 11 on Canary it means that this is the only way to play certain anti-cheat only multiplayer games on the Mac including titles like GTA Online Legacy or Escape from Tarkov. Simply impossible with any other method on a Mac. So if you've ever thought about trying Parallels, now is the best time. Right now they're offering a 35% off through my link in the description, so make sure to click on it. If you somehow missed this discount, then make sure to use the coupon code AppleWiki10 for a 10% discount in the future. Every purchase helps to support this channel and the content that I create. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.